guys welcome back to my channel it is a girl Dami and in today's video I'm just gonna be prepping my hair for my birthday and I'll be using the butter the butter lace it's the sensational butter lace wig it's a synthetic wig and I bought it in the color money piece gold and it's a it's like a tea part you know those t-part wigs where only the middle has lace in the front so you guys are going to be applying it and see how well it works so let's get started so for my birthday i was really contemplating what kind of hairstyle i really wanted for my birthday here i know i didn't want any braids or anything i wanted weave or wig but i was looking more on the human side like human hair side and i did not see any human hair that really fit my liking so i was like let me go with the synthetic route and see what they had to offer and yeah so this is what it would look like from the box i think it's definitely cheaper on amazon though so i'll put the link in the description box for you guys because i got this for 50 59 dollars at the beauty supply store when at on amazon i think it's like 39.99 if i'm not mistaken but yeah so this is the hair you guys this is her she feels really nice and soft and she doesn't look too shiny she looks pretty good so this is the hair and it comes with the lace and it is tea part so I'm gonna show you what I what I mean by tea part so it doesn't have full lace it only has lace in the middle so that's what they call a T part because the top part is lace and then the middle part makes the T so T part so this is the hair and yeah I did go get go ahead and get my hair cornered back and we're gonna go ahead and apply the hair we're gonna see what it do child so for my cap I'm just gonna use one of these stocking cap I got this in the color natural brown so let me go ahead and apply that I'm going to use my guts to be and spray it. Alright, so we finished drying it feels good you just want to make sure that it's fully dry and then we start cutting So this part is kind of lifting, so I'm going to go ahead and put some more free spray on there. Put some more free spray.
so this is how it's gonna look already somewhat giving me the ball vibes <laughs> okay so now that we finished cleaning it cleaning it up I'm gonna go ahead and take my got to be spiking glue and apply that to the edging part I'm just taking the edge of my tail comb to apply it Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply some foundation to my stocking cap just to make it a bit more natural. And see how it looks on my head if I'm gonna need to apply any foundation to the inside of the lace okay you guys so it got real at this moment because I realized that the wig was too small for my head so one side fits really well but then the other side was a no-no so <laughs> I feel like if you have a normal size head, this will work for you, but if not, just know that it's going to be too small. <laughs> I think I've added some alcohol and I'm going to apply my sticking, sticking glue <laughs> with a tail comb. that much because the glue kind of messes with my my skin if it's in too long so it becomes itchy so I don't really wear wigs with lace fronts for too long so I haven't really had the time to perfect my craft to perfect my craft anything I wear is any is something that has to be thrown on and get like I can't be bothered with wigs <laughs> I have to put too much work in to make sure that I can get through the door my wigs gotta just be throw on and get let me know in the comment sections down below how you like your protective styles if you do wear wigs do you wear a lot of lace front wigs where you have to apply it like I'm doing now or do you just wear the wigs that you just normally put on and go
right so I'm gonna go ahead and tie it down I'm improvising I cannot find my the thing to tie my head with at all so I'm just improvising for the tie that I don't really use I'm tying it down just so that it will stay Alright, so tied it down. Alright, so we dry. So it's been on for a little minute. Let me go ahead and take it off. Okay, so it's been on for a little minute. Let me go ahead and cut the lace. This is one side, even though it's not going to really show that much, but this is one side. So this is how it's looking. Yeah, the middle seems just fine to me. So we're going to go ahead and prep my face and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, you guys. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. Finished look and I absolutely love this wig. Look how long it is. It's like at my booty. Uh <laughs> you guys. I'm so in love with this hair. Honest to God, I cannot you cannot tell me this don't look human. You can't tell me this don't look human. This is like a human here, <laughs> okay? This looks so human. Um, they really did a really good job mimicking human hair texture and human hair look. This hair is bomb. Um, with the melting of the of the lace, it's it's given. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not the best at applying lace fronts i don't wear lace fronts all the time i normally wear the 4x4 which is just a little square section in the front it's easier to apply for me because even if i'm not wearing the whole glue thing it's just easy for me to pop on go through the door and pop off at night so i prefer the ones that you come with the 4x4 but this lace is a t is the t one so i think it's like 14 and uh, 13 by like one inch if I'm not mistaken so you do have to glue the front down so that it lays properly but other than that if you are pretty good at applying lace then and you're really in love with this here I would definitely recommend it does shed a bit so if you're combing it out and it has knots, then it will definitely shed. Um, me running my hands through it right now, I'm not getting anything. Well, I got one here. Yeah, no, I got one here. So it sheds, but it's it's minimal. It's not too, too crazy, but it's not a little, little bit. <laughs> if you're combing it out, it's going to shed, which you could say your hair sheds if you comb it out anyway so i mean it's okay <laughs> yeah so i love the color they do have nine nine colors for this brand so if you guys would like to try something if you if you're not really liking this look then you can definitely go for another color they do have none of the colors from what it shows here but yeah, I'm in love with this. This is around 30 inches long, so it touches my booty. <sighs> it touches my booty, so I, I do really love that. I was looking for human hair that would be as long but cheap, but I was not finding that. And in this time and in this time frame right now that we are in with the pandemic, you're not gonna find that unless you're gonna be getting crappy hair. I really wanted hair with color too, and I didn't want to. 
I didn't want the hassle of dyeing it myself. I wanted it to come dyed. So I just throw it on just like this. So I'm like, you know what, let me try the synthetic because I know a lot of, I tried synthetic here before from Amazon and that one was really good. I'll leave in the cards above for the hair that I did try. It was as long as this, it was around 30 inches long and it was really, really good. I still wear up to this day because <laughs> that wig is pretty good quality. So if you'd like to try that one out as well, I'll leave the link down below. I'll also link the video that I did my review in as well in the cards above. <clears throat> but yeah, you guys, I really love this hair. This is my look for my 30th birthday. <laughs> so yeah, I can't believe a girl is 30. Oh, a girl is 30. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey you guys, so this is the hair. If you guys do love this hair and would like to purchase it, I will definitely leave the link down below so that you can get one too. Okay? Because girl, a girl look like a little Beyonce. I don't know if Beyonce is the word, but I look cute. I look cute. <laughs> so yeah you guys, this is it for the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another one. Bye!